Hi, I'm Becca, and this is Joel, and together we've embarked on a lifetime journey of living in our converted van, Popple. Currently, we are exploring the Baja Peninsula. In today's video, we're going to show you what day-to-day -day living looks like in our van. When you're actors and you just can't stop the hustle, so... Starting first with knocking out some auditions. Since we're both actors, the theater world is our bread and butter. You wanna help me shave for my audition? Even though we're on vacation, we still gotta be searching for our next gig. So, auditioning is a hustle we take with us everywhere we go. There's a whole bunch of people up here. Yeah. I guess we don't do anything private. Going with a mustache, don't go with a mustache. Should I? No! So, I actually traditionally, in every sense of that word, hate mustaches. But when it comes to doing this particular audition, both Joel and I are like really gung ho for it. And it's a comedy, and it's a guy who's like madly in love with a girl, and he cries, and he is very like emotional. And I'm like, that's hilarious. That's a hilarious choice. So, for the sake of art, I make my sacrifices and let Joel have a mustache. Yeah. Here's the thing, right? Like, van lifeing has been a dream of, like, Joel's and mine since the beginning of COVID for such a long time now. Um, and, like, going to Mexico seeing all of the YouTube videos of like other people going to Mexico with their vans like it was just something that seemed so desirable and like a mountainous amount of work to like go through to get there and it really was like we trucked like through two years of trying to get this van built trying to buy it trying to get the money all that stuff and now here we are and it's like it, it feels incredible because we set a goal for ourselves and we've accomplished it and that's something that is so empowering and I'm like what other goals can I do now? What else can I accomplish? Because I have a lot of dreams. This was just one of them. You ready to do your audition babe? So even when you're problem solving, like make it very like analytical, you're problem solving now. Mm -hmm. And let's try that. Okay. Hi. Hi. I have been working, what's this like? I always this forget. I plan this moment out in my head. So we were just driving and then all of a sudden we just heard this, like, it sounded like we just drove over a bunch of sand, <laughs> you know, something snapped and um, I think some kind of belt has gotten too old or something and is shredding. But I got my no name brand Mexican serpentine belt, looks like a good place right next to the auto parts little shop thingy to work on my mechanical. So, we'll give this a go, see how it goes. Let's go, yeah. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Ross in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. We have to clean our van. Ew. Cause that's what it takes. Oh man.
this is like one of my favorite features of our van is this carpet because little did I know at the time when I chose it but it's sweepable I knew that and it but it hides the sand and when we have sand on our feet we just step on the carpet and it kind of like takes any of the excess sand on our feet before we get into the bed so let's transfer our sand into the bed I'm never gonna look back I'm never gonna look back cause damn I was put to last you move slow when I move fast The day-to-day -day living wouldn't be complete without showing you a few driving montages. The landscape here in Mexico is truly different from our homeland of Canada. I mean, come on! This is February and the palm trees are green, the air is warm, and the sky is blue. Which way are we going? My secret map way, which to be honest with you, I am not so brave that it's gonna work. You're not so brave, but so it's brave. gonna work. I think we could get lost. But, mom's still alive. So they do in Mexico. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is oh the route. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, you can do it. Oh, you could do it, as long as it's not washed out. there's van there's community and if there's community it means if we get stuck somebody can help us get out <laughs> Inconveniences working and living in a van, but the freedom it gives us to travel and experience new things outweighs the frustrations of taking things a little slower. Having the privilege of traveling to a new country is a dream come true. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to follow along on our adventure. We can't wait to share more of our journey with you. Until next time, take care.